Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we are creating a project for Newton's Neck Designs and we are using one of their stamp sets. It's been out for a while, but that's the first time I get to play with it and I am in love with this little stamp set. It's called Newton's um, Movie Night and I love the three little kitties in the movie chairs with popcorn mm -hmm. and I love the 3D glasses in here and I also love the little popcorn. I think it's just adorable. This is a smaller set, but it does come with coordinating dies. Um, nice thing about the dies, too, is there's some specialty popcorn in there. Um, I'll show it to you as soon as I separate them. But we're going to start off by stamping. We'll stamp the large image in the stamp set. Um, again, there's three kitties here, and they are lined up eating some popcorn candy and pop. Um, we're stamping them on some alcohol marker-friendly paper, and it stamps beautifully. You can see how sweet they are. And then we're also gonna stamp the 3D glasses twice. Two of the kitties can wear glasses, but the third one has his hands or his paws over his face. And so we don't need a, um, a third one for that. We're stamping um, with Memento ink on Nina 80 pound cardstock. And then I did color in my images off screen. I really wanted to take my time coloring in the images. And so I just colored in off screen. And here is what they look like. I did create some purple. I wanted to go real regal. Um, we actually had a, have a, well, I remember a regal movie theater. So that's why I thought we went, we'll go purple here for the movie seats. Um, and I kind of went a little crazy um, outside the lines. So I cleaned everything up with my white gel pen. But that's my little images. I think they're so sweet. Um, we're going to take the coordinating dies and die cut out our, our 3D glasses and also our movie chairs here. Now in this die set, it'll cut out all the images in the stamp set. But there's three little extra popcorn pieces, and they're larger, but I thought that was so perfect. They're different shapes, but if you wanted to use, um, there's no image for them, but if you want to use yellow cardstock and highlight it with your yellow marker, I think that would be fabulous. Extra popcorn pieces, or white with a little bit of highlight of yellow would be cute too. Sky's the limit with those little popcorn pieces. I just think that's adorable. Um, as I was talking about the popcorn pieces, I thought, you know, we need some more popcorn in our in our card. So in the stamp set, there's an itty bitty popcorn piece that kind of um, coordinates with the size of the popcorn buckets that these little kitties are holding. And so I stamped it three times and I'm coloring it in with my yellow markers. I'm using Y11, Y18, and YR24 for these little nuggets. And then we are gonna go ahead and take the coordinating die and die cut out our two glasses our kitties, and then our little three popcorn pieces. We'll just line them up and run those through the die cut machine. Okay, I think they're so cute. <laughs> I'm so tickled about this set. I love the little 3D glasses. When we go to the movies to watch a 3D movie, um, it's a little bit tough on me because I wear glasses. Um, I don't have contacts, I just wear glasses. And so I would have to layer two layers um, of glasses, which is heavy on the nose, <laughs> to watch a 3D movie. I th what's the last one we saw? Maybe it was Finding Nemo 2? I'm not sure, but um, that's just what this reminded me of. I thought it was so cute. <laughs> I just added foam adhesive behind them and added them to the little kitties using the nose as a guide. Now for my background panel, we are going to bring in some black cardstock. Um, I'm going to be using the largest um, frame die in the frame works die set. It has a postage edge edge. And then we're also going to use the smallest one, which to me looked like a little movie ticket. So I die cut two of those out with white cardstock. Now, in the back of my, my mind, you know, the wheels start turning. I thought, you know what, let's make some little projector lines in a movie theater. So this is where the Sunscape stencil comes in. I'm going to flip it around upside down. And I did add pixie spray behind it. Um, it tacks down to your paper beautifully. And then I'm gonna bring in some distress ink. This is Picket Fence, it's a white ink. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my mini dauber and then we are gonna add a little bit of white to our sun rays here. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. I don't want that, that blocked off line. Just going almost to it. And I'm gonna just fill it in with this Picket fe Fence ink. It's gonna create like a smoky shadowy color um, and I thought when you remove it, it kind of looks like the projector rays in a dark movie theater. At least that's my theory. <laughs> I 
when I lifted up the stencil, I have pixie spray. I didn't let it set or dry on my stencil. I was impatient, so I just sprayed and stuck. So I'm using my eraser to erase all the adhesive for my panel, and it worked out great. The adhesive came up with my eraser perfectly. Okay, eventually our furry friends are gonna go down here on the bottom, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm just gonna add, um, the sentiment here, this is movie night on both the tickets. I'm using my Versafine Onyx Black ink and I'm not gonna stamp in the middle. I'm gonna stamp up to the left a little bit. This way I can um, connect both of these together with my tape runner at the very bottom. And you can still see a little bit of the movie night on the second ticket. We're gonna flip over our panel and go ahead and add fun foam behind it. The fun foam that I use is adhesive backed, so all we have to do is add adhesive to the reverse side. I'm just using some double-sided tape here. We're going to remove the release paper and add that behind our postage edged panel. Lovely. Okay, after we have this done, we're going to add this to an A2 size card base. Today's card base is a side folding card base. Usually I use a top folding card base, but sometimes I like to switch it up. <laughs> I went ahead and popped up our furry friends and added them to the bottom of our card base. And then I did um, crisscross the tickets at the very bottom and then added foam adhesive behind them. They're gonna go off to the right a little bit. And I'm loving the way this looks. I think it looks so fun. We have three little popcorn pieces left. I added two to the bottom left and then one up on top of the ticket there to bring up that yellow a little bit. And then for finishing touches, we're not gonna do much. I'm just gonna bring in some silver glitter glue. This is uh, silver stickles from Ranger. And I'm gonna add some sparkle to the lenses of our 3D glasses here. And then that finishes off my project for today, guys. Such an adorable stamp set. Um, we are planning a movie night tonight. Yes, we are. We have a family room and we have a popcorn machine up there. We haven't did it in a while. Usually every Friday we have a movie night, but with the kids getting older, they kind of think it's boring. <laughs> so we're gonna break down, we're gonna break out the popcorn machine and have a movie night tonight. I encourage you guys to do the same thing. Have a lovely day, thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again soon, bye-bye.